and welcome to Learn Twin Flame Tarot. So we're doing the spreads right now. We've done all the cards and we've explained the meanings and we've tapped in with the cards intuitively. And we've used five decks of cards throughout this series to do this. So the spreads are all about tapping in with all of the decks separately to understand what the cards mean and how we put the cards together to do a spread that tells a story that answers the questions because the tarot really tells a story of your life or of the life of the person you're reading for. So we're going to use the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot right now. We're going to do a Celtic cross spread. Now, Celtic, Celtic, again, it depends on where you come from and how you pronounce it. I tend to call this the Celtic cross. That's just because of where I'm from. But remember, potato, potato. So it's however you feel comfortable, you know, with words you use. It's about how you feel when you're connecting with the tarot, with everything around it that makes it real for you, that makes it connected to you. And that makes you more powerful when you are reading for others. So when you feel it, you know it and you trust it, then you can share that with others. So we're going to use the Radiant Rider Wait for this. Now, again, you can do this in two ways. You can shuffle the cards and you can talk to the angels about the position of each card. And the card will jump out for you. Or you can just shuffle the cards. And then when you feel the ready, you can split the deck into three. And then you can just put them out as you want them. But for training purposes, because we're doing this to understand what this spread is and what it means, I'm going to do it where I'm talking to the angels, asking for a specific card. So if you're watching this to learn about tarot and to understand how to put cards together and you know, to understand this spread, then this will really resonate with what you're feeling intuitively. But if you're tapping in with this generally, you may receive some answers about your journey too, because I do tend to find that when I'm doing these readings, when I'm doing these, even though it isn't the intention for a reading to come through, usually a reading will come through. So if you've just jumped on this reading, then it's likely you're going to get some messages that may help right now. So thank you, Angel. So the Salty Cross, it, it consists of 10 cards and each card has a position that gives you an answer. And the answers tell the story of what's going on. And really, that's what the tarot does. So when I say it tells a story, it doesn't mean it's fiction. It means the cards together, when you are looking at them together and separately, explain what's going on. So they tell a story about the situation and that's really what we want so whether you're asking for your own self or you're reading for someone else the cards make sense because of the spread so the spread is really the indicator of everything so the first position of the celtic cross or the celtic cross spread is you know the basis of the situation you know what the situation is so we're going to ask the angels then so thank you angels what's the basis please of this situation so again, I'm not really asking anything in particular because I'm just setting the intention for the angels to bring through the message that we need to know. But when you're doing this, you may ask a specific question in your mind or even your client may be shuffling the cards and thinking about their question. And that could be when are they going to leave the karmic situation or when are we going to be in union or what do we need to know? So the cards will tap into what you need to know now even if that's different than the question you're asking, because it will end up answering the question anyway in a different way. So we've got the basis of the situation. Now, the next card that goes over it is the, the block, and it can be something that's in the way of the connection. So something that can be delaying it, but remember, a delay is really a positive anyway, because it moves things forward. So this position, it may be a block, it could be something we're learning or working on that's working for the connection. So I never see a block as a negative because a block is always a positive. It's something that we're working through, learning from, overcoming, or it's something that's delayed for a reason, delayed with love as things align and balance and move forward. So what's the block, please, to this question? What's the block, please, angel? So we've got here two cards coming out, two cards coming out. So I'm going to put them there, okay? 
So, you know, whether one card comes out or a few cards, usually if you get more than one card coming out in this position, it's because there's a clarifier there. So the one card on its own may not make sense without that clarifier. So the angels are giving you an extra card to help you to interpret or intuitively understand what's going on. So the next card down here is about the reason we're asking the question. You know, the reason we're asking the question. If you come out again, clarify it. So I'm taking them, you know, I'm taking them for a reason. So we've got the basis of the situation, what, what the situation is, what may be blocking the situation and, you know, getting to the nitty gritty of it. And then we want to know what's coming into the immediate future, okay? Look how many cards are coming out here. Now, usually this wouldn't happen, but because we're doing a learning video, these clarify cards may help you to understand the spread better. And that's why I'm keeping them in there instead of just putting them back and asking for one card. So this is what's coming into the immediate future. And then what's coming in to the future, Okay, we've got the future, the long-term future. Now, everybody does these differently. You know, this is the way I do a Celtic cross. And this is what really works for me when I'm doing it. So these three positions here are future. So you've got immediate future. And then you've kind of got a little bit longer. And then this is more long-term here. So long-term can be as long as, you know, you feel. So it could be a few months. It could be a year. It's whatever you feel. So time is illusion. Time is a guideline. It's nothing more than that. So always use your intuition when you're reading the cards. So how do you see the situation? So this is how you or the person you're reading for sees things. And then the next one is how others see things. And then we've got the hope or fear position, which could be what this person is hoping for. Or what they may be fearing. Because sometimes the hope and fear is the same thing. You know, we may be hoping for union. But we may have fears around it too. You know, we may be afraid of what it means. And what will happen. Fear of the unknown. So the outcome. What's the outcome of this situation, please, angels? What do we need to know? The outcome. And there we go. Okay. So we're going to put them all together. So... The first card out then is the basis of the situation, why we're asking the question, which goes with this one, one and three, positions one and three really go together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the basis of the situation is the eight of swords. So this person may be feeling trapped by fear or in some kind of situation they feel they can't get out of. Now, this could be connected with the divine masculine because the divine masculine may be trapped in a situation, maybe in a karmic situation. He could be married. He could be in a relationship. He could be dealing with his own fears and he's, he feels stuck. He feels like he can't move forward. And that may be causing issues within the connection. So the base of the situation is something may be stopping the connection from moving forward. And the moral of this card or the, you know, the message of this card is that we have the power always to change our life. You know, nobody has really tied this person up like that apart from themselves because sometimes we tie ourselves up in knots. And we know the swords are connected with, you know, the mind and the things we experience in the mind, the fear that comes in in our mind. So there may not really be a block there at all, but the block we're creating in our mind because if there is a karmic situation, well, there is something in the way. There's a reason for that. So it's all about our perception of it. So if we're looking at this karmic situation in a negative way, being in pain about it, jealous of the other person, then that's something being healed within the self. That's something we still have to learn and heal through that person and that situation. And that's why, you know, a karmic situation can be a very powerful catalyst to union because you learn things and they learn things. The feminine learns to let go and trust the love and to realize that nobody compares to the divine feminine and the masculine realizes that they have the power to change their life. And that's really what's affecting things here. So, you know, if you've tuned into this reading and you're really resonating with that, then you know something has to change. So something has to change for you to be together. Something has to be released. For you to be together and this is causing a lot of emotion 
So when I'm actually tuning in intuitively with this kind of river here, or these puddles, I'm feeling puddles of tears. So a lot of pain and heartbreak and emotion around this situation. So this could be someone who's really upset right now because this person isn't with them. So this could be, for example, you know, you're reading for a divine feminine who is in a lot of pain because the situation feels stuck. Or it's not moving forward because the divine masculine is with someone else or the divine masculine is quiet or the divine masculine seems to be, you know, just getting on with his life and not really making a decision. So that's what the situation is. So the person that may have come to you for a reading may want to know, is there a way out? Is he going to leave his karmic partner? Are we going to be together? Because you, this person may just feel stuck and trapped and in pain and not seen a way out so this person may have come to you for a reading to get some hope and some clarity and some guidance and understanding of what's going on so this is what may be in the way blocking the connection so yeah we've got the hierophant and the sun so very interesting cards because if the sun had come out you may have thought well what does that mean that's a positive card so why is that a block if the Hierophant to come out, you know, you, it's very clear what this means. So the two have come out together to show you things are not as bad as it seems. So there is hope here. There is hope. So what may be blocking the connection is a commitment. And the fact that you may think that they are happy where they are. Maybe you're thinking, you know, are they in a happy marriage right now? Because the Hierophant can mean marriage. It can mean commitment. It can mean, you know, a vow to somebody else. And the sun is about happiness and joy and a happy ever after. So you may be in fear. This person may be in fear and upset and crying over the fact that they are in a relationship and it seems happy. And they're giving me fear and there's fear around that. So the message is release fear around what may be blocking the situation because things are not always what they seem. The positive aspect of this is whatever seems to be in the way of the connection is working for the connection. You know, I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. And I've been there. You know, I was involved with a married catalyst for six years. So that made me so strong. It gave me, you know, self-worth when I had none. It helped me to find strength and take control and become my own self. You know, so what you understand in this in this situation is that you are enough. So the block is to see through the illusion of the commitment, to understand that the divine masculine here feels trapped. He's not happy because he feels trapped in his own mind and in his situation. He, he needs a way out. He feels bound by things. And those bindings can also be legal things, things like a marriage, a document, you know, he, he's got obligations, he's got responsibilities, he's caught up in red tape, he could be in debt. So he needs to free himself to be available for you. So the block is that right now you may not be able to be together in a commitment or a relationship. You may not be able to be in union, but everything that's happening right now is happening for your union to make your bond stronger and better. So the block is really what's moving things forward. So, you know, if you're just reading this in general, you can see, wow, OK, what seems to be in the way, what seems to be blocking you two being together is that they may already be married or they may already be in a relationship and that may seem happy. And you may be thinking, what's going on? You know, why? Why do I feel this way? Why do I still feel connected to this person? Or even if, you know, your masculine is communicating to you, you may think, why? Why is he doing that when he seems to be happy with someone else? So a lot of questions. So the block really is the doubt around the connection because of something else, a third party situation or the fact that, you know, there may seem to be some happiness or illusion there and you're being guided to focus on what you feel. So the basis of the situation then, we've got the Knight of Pentacles you know inside that you're going to be together. This is a card that says yes. Yes, you're meant to be. Okay, yes, it's all working out beautifully. So 
the whole message here is that regardless of what seems to be going on in the physical world, you know, there is an eventual positive outcome here. And that's why we've got extra cards to clarify. Because, you know, if you are a reader who is very in tune with the cards and, you know, you'd know automatically what this is. But if you're a bit new to reading cards, then this just shows that the delay is happening to move you towards union. So it's showing you everything's on track, even if things seem painful or like things are going backwards. There's a reason for all things. And this may even be the divine feminine or the person that, you know, you're reading for is in the relationship. Maybe, you know, it's the relationship, the vow that's holding things back, the fear of what's to come, and that's creating a delay. But this is showing, you know, you're thinking, are we going to be together? Are we ever going to be in union? Are we ever going to have that relationship? Because it seems very delayed. And the angels are showing you that, yeah, so you know this intuitively. You feel this. You know, the person who you're reading for feels this. You feel this. You know, when I'm doing collective readings, I feel the power of the twin flame love. And that moves things forward. It's very beautiful. So you feel it. You just know that everything is happening for a reason. With blessings you may not yet see. So the real message here is, first of all, to look at the situation clearer from the eyes of love, not fear, and say, okay, there may be a relationship in the way. Why? What is that relationship teaching me and my twin right now? What am I learning from this? Am I learning to focus on joy and bliss and gratitude and blessings and, you know, the new beginning ahead, the union ahead, the fact that love conquers all and that everything is delayed for a reason? So it's reminding you that things are necessary when they are delayed because it will lead to eventual positive outcome. And sometimes without the karmic situation or the karmic energy, we don't learn what we need to learn to move into that eventual positive outcome. So what's coming into the immediate future then? Again, we've got a few cards here. So we've got the King of Swords. So this may be the Divine Masculine in a very quiet energy you know, an indifferent energy where he doesn't seem to care or it seems like he, he doesn't really, you know, he's not really bothered either way what's going on. So that can also cause pain too. So this may be the masculine silent. And again, things are not always what they see. You know, they're giving me intuitively the moon card with the sun because the moon is about illusion. So we have to look past the illusion of the happiness you may see on social media or out in the world because when you look closer you can see things closer so even if the divine masculine may seem indifferent or like he's not bothered he's feeling everything inside and he's working things out and he's finding solutions and he's making decisions to move things forward and this is shown with the ace of pentacles that he wants to offer something to you he wants to offer something to the divine feminine he wants to bring in something concrete in this connection. That's what the pentacle is symbolizing there. So this is about doorways opening. Now, this can also be a sign of, of a timeline. So this can also be December to April time when this may move forward. So whenever you're doing this reading, if these cards come up, the masculine may be a little bit indifferent or silent or quiet or distant until December, April time, because he wants to come forward with something real. And he's in pain, okay? He's in pain because he's missing the divine feminine. He's focusing on what's going on in his life instead of what he wants to create in his life. So I feel this is the divine masculine in pain and sorrow because he wants to be with the divine feminine, but he needs to find a way out. And this is showing success ahead. He will be successful. So another big sign here that the divine feminine needs to trust the divine masculine to find their way, to make the right decisions and to know your own worth and to understand that you deserve everything with your twin in divine time in a balanced energy instead of just receiving breadcrumbs here and there or knowing your worth, knowing that you are powerful and you are, you know, you're going to be successful. They keep blocking the throat chakra, which is connected with communication so what may be coming into the immediate future may be a lack of communication as decisions are made to bring in that freedom. 
So moving forward, we've got the Hierophant, now we've got the Emperor. The angels are reminding you of the Hierophant here. So what's coming into the future is commitment with them giving me intuitively the Hierophant and the Emperor, because the Emperor is the Divine Masculine stepping into their power. So Divine Masculine power, building a future together, working on what you want to create and releasing fear around the rest. So this is understanding that if things seem to be you know, stuck or stagnant, there's always a reason we have to look past the illusion. And the illusion is understanding that you were never left out in the cold divine feminine because your masculine always wants you and loves you and is always loyal to you in their heart and mind. So I really feel this is a message that the divine masculine is stepping into power. And that could also be over the next four months. So this could also be between December and April. So I'm really connecting with this as I'm feeling this energy too. Power, building a future, finding the way. So what's coming into the long-term future is, yeah, there it is, the moon. So we have to see through the illusion and remember our power. So the Nine of Pentacles is about the Divine Feminine stepping into power. And I really love this reading because as I record this in real time, this is the energy we're in moving towards the Lion's Gate portal. They're giving me the period of nine months as things moving into fruition, which really makes sense with December and April because we're stepping into August. So this is showing you here to see through the illusion that makes the feminine stronger because the feminine starts believing, having faith, trusting, working on the self, giving back to the self and manifesting dreams. And that builds the future. So the message here is look through the illusion of the 3D world to see things clearer. So I feel that's what the reading is. So, you know, if this person had come to me for a reading, I would be explaining that the right thing to do now is to work on self and to not take things personally and to rise above fear because fear is illusion created by the mind which affects the body. So the suffering here but we can choose how we feel in every moment, choose to see things from a higher perspective and to understand that if there is a delay in communication or the masculine does seem silent or distant, he's working things out to build a better future, to bring in that yes, to bring in union, to bring in that fresh start. So the way that you see the situation, which may be the person you're reading for, there needs to be a karmic ending with a justice card Balance needs to come in and that's really what you are focusing on right now. So the angels are also saying here, don't focus on the karmic situation. Don't focus on the things that bring in pain. And this can also be with the five of pentacles where, you know, we feel left out in the cold. We're thinking about what they are doing with that karmic partner. We're visualizing and imagining happiness behind those closed doors when usually that isn't the case at all. There's arguments and pain and distance between the karmic partner and the divine masculine. So this is about the divine feminine realizing the illusion and to not focus on that, to focus on the love that you share together and the future and magic and blessings and joy, to focus on giving back to the self, to focus on loving life, being grateful, working on, you know, enjoying each day and working on your dreams and goals and desires and going in nature and breathing in the air and feeling good and excited about life. So when we start focusing on those things, things turn around, we don't feel left out. This can be a big sign to give back to ourselves what we crave from our twin. So if we're wanting their love and attention or we're wanting communication, give all of those things back to yourself. Be kind and loving to you. Take yourself out on a date, do things for you. And that will lead to a quicker karmic ending because you're not focused on it. What we focus on sometimes doesn't seem to occur. It's like, think about, uh, you know, when you're watching a kettle, it doesn't seem to boil. Or when you're waiting for someone to come, if you're looking out the window, they don't seem to come. But when you maybe go to the loo, there's that knock on the door. When you walk away, the kettle boils because you're, you're putting your attention elsewhere. So it's reminding you that thoughts become things. So if you're focusing on, you know, the karmic partner and they're giving me fear and there's fear around that, that's what you're going to attract and bring in. 
If you're focusing on joy and you're releasing things and you're trusting the journey and you're believing in it and having faith in it and knowing that everything is teaching you something and you're growing from this situation, then things move forward quicker. And the way other people see it is there's a completion. So this is the way the divine masculine will see it. Something has to end to bring in a new beginning. And there it is happening. So I feel in this reading, it's the divine feminine who may be struggling right now. Yes, the divine masculine may be struggling to create that completion, to walk away from the karmic partner or to create that change. But that's what he's working on as the king of swords. Air energy. Things may be up in the air in his mind and his life right now because he's making changes, he's finding solutions, he's looking for answers. Could also be connecting, remember, with an air sign, but this is more of the energy of how he feels. So he's, he's feeling it all, but he may not be showing it on the surface. So when the masculines are acting that way, they seem very distant or quiet or silent, it can affect the divine feminine because the divine feminine feels misunderstood or doesn't feel heard or appreciated. And that causes a lot of pain. And then we start blowing things out of proportion. We may be checking on social media and, you know, thinking everything's wonderful for them and not very good for us. But in spiritual truth, it's all illusion. So the hope or the fear is, wow, hope for the future. So the real hope here is, are things going to improve? Are things going to get better? Will he find his way? Well, all you have to do is shine bright because your light guides your twin home. And the outcome is the king of wands. Wow. So the outcome is the masculine is loyal to the divine feminine. The outcome is the masculine wants to be with the divine feminine. So he needs to free himself up to be available for the divine feminine. He needs to be free. But his heart, mind, body and soul are connected constantly and forever and eternally to the divine feminine. So he is loyal. So the message here is remember that the masculine is always loyal to the divine feminine, regardless of the 3D world. So the message what I would share with this person who come for a reading is that there is going to be a completion. There is going to be a karmic ending. It's likely to happen between December and April because that's when you know this person wants to offer something concrete so and motorbike everything happens for a reason during a reading so always pay attention to what's going on around you too motorbike means things are speeding up so things are speeding up I'm feeling the energy of four four months to move things forward but also about building and protection and delays for a reason so 444 is a big sign from the angels that things are being protected that success is ahead that there is going to be an eventual positive outcome because the divine masculine is loyal or this person is loyal to the divine feminine focus on the good things don't focus on you know all the things you're in fear of maybe thinking that the relationship is wonderful and they've got a happy marriage when in spiritual truth that's illusion because you telepathically receive signs from your twin and from the angels about what's real. And what's real is it's happening. It's coming together. So focus on what is there, the good things, the love, the power. Be grateful instead of being in pain and in fear, thinking that something's wrong or they don't love you or care. Because there is hope here. There is going to be a karmic candy. Justice will be done when you focus on the self and trust the divine masculine to step into their power by making decisions. And if they need time and a bit of space and distance to do that, then that delay is happening for a reason to move you into your union, which is ahead. So big message here about trust and faith and understanding and realizing why we go through the pain to become stronger. And the, the, you know, the Ace of Cups is also a card about relationships and things moving forward can also symbolize you. So this could also be a reading that says, you know, say if you were reading this now in real time, I'm posting this at the end of July. It seems that things are going to move forward between December and April and union will take place around June time. So big message about the next year moving things forward. But it's all about faith, trust and understanding and knowing that everything will be okay. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.